It's been 24 days since Russia attacked Ukraine, and right now millions of Ukrainians have fled the country. Many are stuck, not knowing what the next day will actually bring. So many of them don't have money, food, or even shelter. And one Charlotte woman says she knew she needed to help, even in a small way. Queen City News reporter Maureen Wirtz joins us now live in Uptown. And Maureen, you spoke with a woman. Her family still lives in Ukraine. How is she doing? How's the family doing? Ryan, it's not easy. Imagine having your family and your loved ones a world away and not knowing if they're okay. But instead of feeling sad or helpless, she decided to do something. Every people would do something small, we can change the world. For most of the time, Olga Nikolayanka is surrounded by small, beautiful reminders of joy. She's been a florist for 15 years and started arranging flowers back when she lived in the Ukraine. When you see the news, you try uh, to see, okay, if someone lives there from my family, from my friends. It's hard to work knowing what's happening in her hometown of Kiev, where all her family and friends live. She and her husband, Nick, make those hourly phone calls. You, you keep calling, you know, family, hey, how are you? So for them, it's like, okay, yes, I'm alive or no, the phone is offline. Nick says eight years ago, Russia invaded his hometown and knows people who've been killed. Because the, the shell landed right in front of them, the couple, you know, husband and wife got killed immediately. So they decided to do something. She's making bouquets in Ukrainian colors and donating all the proceeds to the Ukraine. She was hoping for a couple of orders, but got so much more. Also, I have people who just send it donations without any flowers needed. Her wish is simple, but so important to see her family again. I want to hug them. I want to be with them. You know, I, I just want to make sure that I will see them one day. Mm. Yeah, Olga is making the bouquets this weekend and next week she says she'll be delivering them. But Overall, she has felt so supported, which is really helpful. Live in Uptown, Maureen Words, Queen City News. Oh, my gosh, to hear them describe that pain, uh, it's heartbreaking for that family. Thank you so much, Maureen.